Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. This is Azlina Abdul. Today I'm going to share with you how I make these two quilling flowers using the same twisted loops technique that I've shared with you guys previously. The idea for the blue flower was inspired by a quiller on Instagram. Yes, uh, I'll share the uh, link to her Instagram at the description box below so you can go and check her out. Her quilling flower is absolutely beautiful guys compared to mine and many of my followers have requested that I do a tutorial for it since she didn't have one. So I hope you'll enjoy the tutorial and try to make the flower too. The peach flower however is an idea that I came up with after I tried making the blue flower. So I hope you'll try that too. So let's get started. For the blue flower, I used this blue A4 paper that I shredded with a manual paper shredder. This paper is thicker than the usual quilling paper I normally use for quilling and I feel that it is suitable for making large flowers such as this one. I hope you find it helpful when I show you the measurements of the cooling paper here with the ruler. You can see clearly here the measurements in inches and in centimeters. So here is how I start making the flower. I start with the petals first. I use two strips of cooling paper to join them together with a bit of white glue. So I'll get this long strip of paper to make one petal. My quilling comb has two different sets of teeth. I use the one with the wider gap between each teeth to make this petal because the wide gap helps make the loops longer and easy to twist with a slot of quilling tool later on. But if you don't have a quilling comb with a wide gap like this, don't worry. You can just keep an extra one or two teeth to make the loops longer. So just follow the exact steps I've shown here to make all the 10 loops. So now that the 10 loops are done, I'm going to show you how to twist them. This is what a lot of my followers are curious about, you know, wondering how it's done and blah blah blah. It's actually very easy. 
Remember how I did the twisted flower in the previous video? I twisted the loops left and right, left and right, correct? But for this one, you just need to twist all the loops to the left side. And that's it. That's all you need to do to get that design. Believe it or not, yes, that's all you need to do, guys. So now all that is left to do is wrap the petal with another piece of cooling paper. I didn't wrap it multiple times like I always do with flower petals. This time around I only wrapped it once because I think the paper is thick enough to wrap the petal once and I feel it looks much nicer that way. There are 10 petals that you need to make for this flower. So these are the 10 petals that I've made, all ready to be glued together. But before that, I made one tight coil, and this tight coil will help hold all the petals together. I use three strips of cooling paper to make this tight coil. Just join all the three strips of paper together with some white glue to get one long strip of paper. Roll it up with the slot cooling tool and again finish it with a bit of white glue. And that's it, we're ready for the next step. I'm not sure if the original designer made a tight coil to hold all the petals together like this. She might have a different way of doing it which you have to ask her yourself to know how she does it. This is just my way of doing it. We all have different ways of doing things and it's okay. Sometimes there is no right and wrong in art. It's really subjective. As long as you like the results, then there's nothing to worry about. I like to arrange all the petals around the tight coil first before I glue them. I always make sure they are all arranged nicely and when I'm happy with the arrangement, then it's time for me to glue them together. Carefully apply some white glue to each petal and join them to the tight coil. Make sure to apply glue to the sides of the petals as well.
I'm going to make the fringe flower now, so to do that, I will cut the strip of paper by hand like this. This is an A4 pearly white paper that also weighs 120 GSM. Again, you can see here the measurements of the paper in inches and in centimeters. So this is how I make the fringe flower for the blue and peach twisted loops flower. I don't always make fringe flowers, to be honest, I'm not that good at it. But I really love how it looks on the twisted loops flower. So I tried as best as I could to make it look nice. It's a very slow process, takes a long time to cut the fringe throughout the whole length of the paper. So I'm not going to waste your time watching me cut the fringe. So I speed the video up a bit so you won't have to wait too long. It may look like I have some sort of a superpower that I can cut the paper so fast. I wish I did. But don't we all? Haha. <laughs> Once I've cut the fringe, all that is left to do is roll it up with a slotted tool. So be careful at this point not to tear the paper if you roll it up too fast. So now you can see me trying to open up the fringe, trying my best to make it look like a blooming flower. Bit by bit, I slowly open it up. I also like to use my bamboo stick to curl the fringe so the flower won't look so stiff. You don't necessarily need to make fringe flowers for the blue flower. You can also make a tight coil or just add a sparkling stone as a finishing touch.
Once the fringe flower is done, I just applied a generous amount of glue at the back of it and pasted it on the flower. And that's it, the flower is done. Okay, now it's time to see how I make the peach flower design. So the amount of paper needed is the same as the blue flower and that means there's going to be 10 loops for this petal too. The difference between the blue flower and the peach flower is how I twist the loops, that's all. As you can see here, the first 5 loops, I would twist the loops to the left and then I'll twist the rest of the 5 loops to the right. So that's how you get that design. So just like the blue flower, I wrap the peach petal just once. The process is the same, just do exactly like how I did the blue flower because everything is the same except how I twist the loops. Ta-da! Magically, the peach flower is done! Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the whole tutorial. I cut short the tutorial for the peach colored flower because the process of assembling it together is the same as the blue colored flower. So it's not going to be a problem for you to understand how to do it. I hope you will try making them soon and have fun quilling! Till we meet again in another tutorial. Bye!